Hello and welcome to Datasar. Today I'm going to show you how to add PayPal Add to Cart to your website at connect.datasar.com. So first let's go to datasar.com and let's go ahead and log into our account. Let me get my email address and my password. Okay, now that's going to take us to Dashboard on the main menu. Let's get rid of this tab. So once you're on Dashboard, you want to go to Website to get to the editing tools. And the editing tools for Post and Pages are identical. They work identically the same. Uh, we're going to be doing Pages today. So let's go ahead and click on Pages. And we, we already added the page. To add a page, you click here. But we already added it, so it's gear. We're going to go back to here in just a moment. First, let's look at the website. This is our AAA Outdoor Scenes website we've been working with. This is the gear page right here that we're, where we're going to add the code. So we're going to add it um, right in here. So let's go back to connect. And so before we start doing this, um, one thing I want to show you real quick is help.datasar.com. So if you click on help.datasar.com, there's this, this um, this subject right here, how do I sell products on my website, you can click on that and you can click on go to PayPal buttons. So if you log into your PayPal account, you're going to have access to these buttons. The button that we're going to be using today is the add to cart. Now they also have a donate button, a buy now, they have smart buttons for doing different payment methods, they have an automatic billing button, so PayPal is super convenient. We're going to be using the add to cart button right here and it's just real simple to use. Um, you just fill out all this stuff and it's real easy. It walks you right through it. So let's, let's get rid of this and let's go ahead and get rid of this and get rid of this. Let's go back to connect and let's go full screen at this point. And we left off on website. So Right here is where we go. You start out on Dashboard, you go to Website, we're going to go to Pages. Now we're going to edit our gear page, we're going to add the code. So we're going to click Edit right here. So we scroll down to the big editing box. We already added this information in here. So the first thing we're going to do is add the code for our AAA Outdoor Shirts. I'm just going to hit Enter, stick my cursor up here. Let me go grab the code right here. And... Okay, so I have the code copied into my clipboard. So now, instead of simple, we're going to click on code. I'm looking for AAA Outdoor Shirts right here. So I'm going to put my cursor right there, hit enter. And I'm going to do control V, paste in the code. And I'm going to go down and click update. And now I'm going to scroll down and now I have my um, code in there. Now the one thing that I also want to do is right in front of AAA Outdoor Shirts. I'm going to do Im insert image left. And I'm going to place the code right here where these pre-filled pre words are. So we go AAA Outdoor Shows, Shirts. We're going to grab the title. We're going to grab the code. So we're just going to do Control X. So we're going to cut that. We're going to go up here. We're going to paste. We're going to backspace these words. We're going to do Control V and paste it in right there. And then right here, we have a picture. So let's go ahead and go to our insert image, insert edit image icon, search folder, go to my images. I already have it preloaded, so we're going to use this one. Hit OK. And there's the picture. Let's go ahead and just shrink that down a little bit. And there it is, our AAA outdoor shirts. So let's go ahead and do our next one. Let's do our AAA Outdoor Shoes. So let me go grab the code for the shoes and right there. So Control C, I got the code. So now for the shoes, we're going to go ahead and um, click on code. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for shoes. Here's my shoes right here. So let's go ahead and put the cursor right after shoes, hit enter, and I'm going to paste in the code, control V. I'm going to click update. 
and let's go ahead and scroll down and there's our shoes right there and then also what I want to do is I want to do the insert image insert left image here and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to grab the title and the cart button control X then I'm going to go to these words and I'm going to back them out and I'm going to paste it in the title and the code or the button right there so there we have our add to cart button for the shoes for the shirts and then one more for the cart so let's go here and again we're going to go to go oh one other thing we got to get the um, picture so let's go to the insert edit image icon here let's go ahead and get the image for the shoes we're going to go and click use and okay so there we have the shoes and then now we're going to go get the code for the cart so let me go grab that just real quick here so i already have that copied in my clipboard now so we're on cart we're going to go to code again we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says cart and then right here we're going to enter the code control v and then we're going to click update and now I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to do the um, image left one more time because I want to move this cart button and line it up over here. So we're going to move that left. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab this, Control X. We're going to back out these words. We're going to paste it in here, Control V. And then we're going to get rid of this picture. Just click on it and hit it backspace. So everything's all lined up now and we're going to click update and there it is we added the code for all three of those now we're going to go look at the website and see what it looks like so let's go ahead and um, tab over here's our AAA outdoor gear let's do a hard reset we're going to do control F5 and there it is so now we have our add to cart button for our shirts for our shoes and then we have our cart button so let's go ahead and click on add to cart and that's taken us to PayPal and then we have the shirts we had it added one shirt so let's tab back over and let's do the AAA outdoor shoes so why don't we do size 11 on the shoes add to cart and there we have the shoes and we have size 11 right there so let's tab back over and then also it's, it's kind of nice to have the view cart button so we added that as well the, the view cart you know that just views the cart what we were looking at right there let's go ahead and go back to the website and let's go back to connect and then that's it um, we're going to go to dashboard here and that's it that's how you add the um, add to cart button to your to your, that's how you add the PayPal add to cart to your website at Datazar Connect.